Welcome to Camo Studio for iPad. To use Camo Studio for iPad to stream from your gaming console, you'll need an HDMI cable and a capture card to bring your game video into the iPad. And if you're using a Switch like me, you'll also need the dock that comes with the Switch. Connect your console to the capture card with the HDMI cable and then plug the capture card into the iPad. Now, let's get things set up to stream. From the Canvas settings in the left-hand navigation panel, I'm going to first set my scene background. And then, for primary source settings, select external video source, and then select your capture card to bring in your game view. From the control panel, you can add image enhancements, change your frame shape, rotate or mirror your video, but I'm just going to give my game view some rounded corners, pinch to resize it, and then drag and place where I want it to go. For secondary source, select camera, and then choose the camera you want to use from the drop-down menu. Here, you can add image enhancements such as portrait mode, spotlight, or filters. I'm setting my camera to a circle shape and then turning on auto tracking to make sure I stay in the frame. And now, my scene is ready. Swipe up from the bottom left of the screen to pull up your scene gallery. Let's check out a few other scenes that I have set up. This is also where you can change scenes while streaming or recording. Swipe up from the bottom right to see your stream chat or other activity. Of course, you have to start streaming before anything will show up here. Tap on the record icon to record a video file straight to your iPad photo library. And then tap on the Twitch icon to sign into your streaming platform of choice. I'm already signed in to YouTube and Twitch, but I can also press the plus sign to add other streaming destinations. Hit start stream, the button turns red, and we're live. To sum it all up, you connect your console to your iPad via HDMI cable and capture card, set device one as the game screen, device two as your camera, then add whatever image adjustments you like as you set up your scenes, sign into your streaming accounts, and you're good to go. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.